Well, this Sunday's Gospel reading from Matthew 25, verse 31 onwards, is about the sheep and the goats. And basically asks the question, poses the question, when the Son of Man comes to judge, what would be the criteria? Well, we might have laid down our lives to do good things and great things. We might have believed the right things and worshipped in the right ways and gone to the right church. But it asks, did we love the stranger? Did we clothe the naked? Did we feed the hungry? Did we visit the prisoner? And this will be true for all world peoples, no matter what they put down as their religion on the form. So, did we exercise compassion? And this story, this parable, this talk of Jesus links directly to the previous last week's Gospel reading about the parable of the talents. If we read it in the alternative way, see my posting from last week, we will see in fact that the one talent man was a victim of the system, not a bad lad. The big boys with the five and two talents with the big money were able to muscle their way into the market and make money, but this little guy was scared of losing the little that he had. And of course, it was taken from him. That's the economic system then, and it is today as well, sadly. So this parable, the sheep and the goats, asks the question, did we look out for the one talent guy who lost the only money he had? So, he was homeless... He was hungry, he was not properly clothed, and he probably ended up in a debtor's prison. Did you, uh, did you welcome the homeless? Did you feed the hungry? Did you clothe the naked? Did you visit the prisoner? That is how it links to the previous parable. Those society and the economy has thrown to one side, those who have drawn the short straw, did we look out for them and did we help change the system? That Jesus' life is simply more than trying to be good. And some people criticise this passage as being social gospel. It's about just being good and right. No, no, it's not. It's about choosing a completely different reality. The Jesus reality, which he calls the kingdom of God. So, the judgement basically is, and I think it's very fair, what we choose now, we will enjoy for all of life. It's a fair system. I think Jesus is very compassionate about it. If we want to be caring, loving people who change the system to make sure it's fair for all people, that's what we will enjoy for all life. If we want to look out for our own self-interest, if we want to make sure, in fact, that we're okay and our folk are okay and people the same colour as us are okay, that's what you'll have the rest of you for the rest of eternity. If we want to be people who look out for others and are concerned for the greater good, that's what we will enjoy forever. If we couldn't care a toss, that's also what we will enjoy forever. It's exactly as St Catherine of Siena said in the 14th century. It's heaven all the way to heaven and it's hell all the way to hell. So there we are. Well, I'll see you next week for... Um, our Advent reflection. See ya.